Don't be afraid of being alone, 9 tips to help you accept loneliness. Solitude is the profoundest fact of the human condition. Man is the only being who knows he is alone. Octavio Paz There is nothing good or bad that exists when it comes to loneliness. It all depends on how we choose to use our time alone. In fact, spending enough time alone can benefit us more than you think, as long as you decide to take advantage of these moments in favor of your happiness. The majority of people, at some point in their lives, have felt afraid of being alone. Without doubt, human beings are social beings. Thus, social relationships are vital for our mental health, but why is it that solitude is seen as terrifying for some people and enjoyable for others? Culturally, the fear of being alone has been created in many societies and it has a negative and distressing perspective. There is a tendency to relate loneliness with bad moods and depression. In this article, we'll share some advice to help change your attitude about these moments alone those that may cause you to feel anxious and to incredible moments with yourself. Recognize your fears. Sometimes, it takes a lot out of us to realize that being alone negatively affects us because we use different escapes to ignore our feelings. Every person is different, which is why it's difficult to identify the activities that you are doing to kill time but that are not helping you reach your goals or making you feel like a more full person. Listen to your body. Without a doubt, your body transmits and registers every emotion that you feel on a daily basis. When you find yourself alone, try to close your eyes for a few minutes, breathe and listen to your body to figure out where this fear of being alone comes from. Clean up your thoughts. Throughout the day, we receive a lot of information through our forms of communication, our friends, co-workers and family. Unconsciously, all of this information is passed through our mind. Therefore, it's necessary to spend time alone so that we can listen to ourselves and get rid of anything that may poorly affect us. Reinvent yourself. When you're alone, it is normal that boredom can make you feel anything from nostalgic to overwhelmed. To avoid this, try to do fun activities outside of your usual routine, like learning a new sport. Read about topics you don't know anything about, learn a new language or listen to a different genre of music. Write down your priorities. By writing things down everything that you should do and want to do throughout the month, whether on paper or digitally, you give yourself the opportunity to read them during your alone time. This will make it easier to get rid of those restless thoughts and feelings. Doing this can highlight which of these needs are a priority for you and which might be the priority of someone else. Remember, the most important person in your life is you. Seek professional help.
Taking care of your mental health is vital for feeling harmonious and tranquil with the world and with ourselves in any situation. In order to do this, it is important to know the origin and the causes of our fears. We can do this through the help of other people, therapy or other alternatives that can help you to live a more peaceful life and accept loneliness. Time alone to grow. Socializing is normal among human beings. There is nothing wrong with making friends and living with other people. However, the fear of being alone usually starts with a dependence and addiction to those around us. Acquiring the habit of spending time alone allows for an emotional balance within us that is necessary for us to be happy. By doing this, you can understand the root of this dependence that's keeping you from living a life with mental autonomy, freedom and health. Little by little, you with let go of the importance of the approval of others. Then, you will start to feel more secure and independent. Disconnect from everything to connect with yourself. Disconnecting yourself from the outside world can be extremely beneficial for connecting with yourself. It will allow you to listen attentively to your thoughts, feelings and emotions. It's healthy to ask yourself and question yourself in these moments if you're happy with yourself. Or, in any case, if you would like to change something about your life or if you would like to give yourself new goals. Solitude strengthens your personal autonomy. Solitude is an opportunity to pamper yourself and take care of yourself. Enjoy your time alone more often and let yourself discover new abilities. Try to strengthen your personal confidence and grow as an individual. It may seem incredible, but freedom is one of the most beneficial achievements that comes from solitude. It allows you to question, learn, unlearn and do the things that really make you feel good. Thank you.